bring the sun go down. We run the city, city, but the demons with me. Bring the sun go down. Must believe it. Smell the new streets is undefeated. Bring the sun go down. Salute me, it's in the bloodstream. We feeling like a douche. The compound lesson, the lies, the deception, the FBI's weapons, the punishment, detention. And I just wanna free you from the slave shit. So murder is the case that we're faced when the sun go down. All right, ruthless fans. Hmm. I don't know what to title this video. So just going to focus on the death of Roof, the death of Tally, and what in that cryptic message Tally told Roof in episode three about how the highest will kill them both. And spoiler alert: if you haven't watched the Oval, it is available on BET Plus. So cover your ears. Tally kills herself after she escapes from the cult somehow. The question being is number one: how the heck does she escape? Unfortunately, she wasn't able to get her daughter back. And now we're dealing with the fact that Roof is allegedly dead. Uh, Chandler and I were literally going back and forth one night about the possibility of maybe kind of like that boy that was sacrificed for Tally's mistake, you know, being caught with the truck. Maybe there is another person who looked like Roof who was killed in order to make it seem like Roof was yeah, okay, let me put it this way. I don't know. Um, based off what we know so far, so far, it seemed like Barry was unsure if that was actually Roof in the morgue at the police station, but from a story standpoint, it kind of makes sense so far that Roof is actually dead, given the fact that, look at it this way, the highest goes on about how envy is something that exists within the cult. Pretty much, you know, when somebody is being rewarded or receiving a bounty, they are praised and pretty much lifted above the heads over everyone else. And it's like, Sister Ruth, do you not see how envious all the other children are of you? Yes, I do. That's good. And it's like, wait, what? So you also notice the kind of back and forth between Ruth and let me see if I can get the name of the character. Uh, Binta, Binta. She's kind of like one of the eldest mothers. And she was the one It was after Ruth had come out of the punishment chamber so to speak where tally was and when she was asking roof so what did tally say and it's like i have to report this to the highest no you need to tell me and i'm like no and she's like no i'm an elder now and i don't have to answer you i speak directly to the highest so after his prophecy then she'll tell him and the way she's like oh so that's how it is now that kind of brings about the question of a jealousy kind of thing where oh okay so yeah, okay, what is it? You smelling yourself? Or are you getting too big for your britches kind of thing? And maybe Ruth gets taken out by some of the members who are jealous of her. Or some of the members who don't feel she is fit to be in the role that the highest has ranked her just because she brought her child into the fold. So I think it is possible that Ruth is taken out. Even though, remember, I did do a video about Sharon possibly being involved with Ruth's death but also... Not to mention the fact that we know that, uh, what the, Matthew Law's character on the Oval. Hang on. You're going to hear some clicking because I got to go on my computer and find it. Let me pull up the Oval because this stuff might actually be intertwined. Um, uh, ba 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 Kareem. Okay, so we know Kareem is a drug dealer. And we know Sharon's kind of like, you know, his right hand, like the one who distributes it. And we also found out that the cult has a crap ton of drugs that they use to, I guess you could say, keep their members under the influence. So do you think this means that Sharon and Kareem aren't cult members, but obviously they deal to the cult? And maybe with Sharon being so jealous of, you know, the fact that Ruth and Callie definitely play a role in terms of being a distraction they pretty much you know being the thing that is always going to stand between her and barry that sharon kind of arranged it for roof to be taken out and then callie being abducted that is jacked up because remember sharon was at work so she was not at the house when nancy was there when uh roof came for like an hour visit that turned into two hours and then led to being abducted so, 
Sharon, I love you, but that's Stone Cold. Give me Jean. I'll, I'll stick with Jean. I'll protect her from um, uh, J Jason's crazy self walking around without clothes on. Wait, is it Jason? Jason. Yo, g guys, the show's been off for a while, so I've kind of forgotten character names. My bad. So maybe Ruth was killed as a result of that. Yeah, maybe it isn't jealousy or envy within the cult. Maybe Sharon's... Wait, is it Sharon or Shannon? Sharon... <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe Sharon's envy of Ruth led to her potential death. And then the fact that there is some envy within the cult meant that taking out Ruth would not be something that would be hard for them to decide. So Ruth could, in fact, be dead by the cult arranged by Sharon. And then that's why the bloody knife was there, you know, with the money. So that could explain a few things. But, um, yeah, why would the highest killer? I mean, Tally says that, but... I think it just comes down to if they don't do what they're told or, you know, yeah, they'll end up dead. And plus, Tally just realizes the cult's going to be after her anyway, so her life is over regardless, even though she made that bloody mess in the kitchen. Because Ruthless is making me feel bad for Tally, but that still doesn't excuse her for being a poor house guest. And I did an entire video on that. If you go to my Oval playlist, you'll find it there. But yeah, Ruth could actually be dead, for real. Like, not a substitute or a sacrifice, but that could legitimately be her killed within the ranks of the cult due to envy and possibly influence from Sharon. So, with that being said, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let's go for a, Let's be bold. 125 likes. Let's get this video to 125 likes. If you are new, hit subscribe. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And let me know, are there any other kind of theories or discussion videos you want me to do in the future?